Ask the universe to receive, not by force, but by asking the right way. Written by Justice O. Malcolm. Published by Audiobooks Office. Introduction. Like Aladdin rubbing his magic lamp, you too possess the ability to ask the universe for what you desire. However, it's not about forcing your will on the cosmos, but rather learning to request, receive, and align with the metaphysical world. The process involves setting clear intentions, expressing gratitude, and visualizing your desires as if they're already fulfilled. Curious about how this works? Well, the magic is not in the asking, but in the fine art of receiving a skill that unfolds over time, just begging to be explored further. Welcome to Ask the Universe to Receive, a life-changing guide that explores the gentle power of asking the universe for what you desire and receiving it with grace. This book offers a fresh perspective on the art of manifestation, shifting away from the notion of forcefully seizing opportunities to a more harmonious interaction with the universe. This book, which is written in an approachable and transparent manner, will teach you how to successfully match your demands with all that the universe has to offer. Ask the Universe to Receive begins by unraveling the often misunderstood concept of how we communicate our desires to the universe. It explains the difference between forcing outcomes through sheer willpower and inviting them into our lives through thoughtful intention and alignment. Each chapter delves deeper into the mechanics of this process, introducing you to practical techniques such as setting clear intentions, practicing mindfulness, and using affirmations to reinforce your requests. The book is structured to provide an approach to asking and receiving, making it accessible to both newcomers to the concept of manifestation and those who have explored similar topics before. You'll learn how to cultivate an awareness of the signals you send to the universe, how to clear blockages that might impede your ability to receive, and how to remain open and receptive to the gifts that come your way. Through inspiring anecdotes and testimonials, Ask the Universe to Receive demonstrates the real-world application of its teachings. These stories not only illustrate the effectiveness of asking the universe, but also show how diverse individuals have embraced these principles to transform their lives, achieving everything from career success to personal fulfillment and happiness. This book is an invitation to anyone looking to enhance their life through a deeper understanding of the universe's laws. Ask the Universe to Receive encourages you to shift your mindset from one of scarcity and struggle to one of abundance and ease. Here you will find all the tools you need to start on this enlightening path, ensuring that your journey is not only successful but also rich with learning and growth. Join us on this journey of discovery and learn to ask so that you may receive abundantly, fostering a relationship with the Universe built on trust and mutual generosity. Let this book guide you towards a life where you're not just surviving, but thriving through the simple act of asking and receiving. For more information about the ebook version of this audio, visit audiobooksoffice.com. We notice that 72% of you who listen to our video are not yet subscribed to the channel. Please help support the channel by hitting the subscribe button and liking the video. Thanks for inspiring us to create more content for you. Chapter 1 Learning About the Metaphysical Before commencing on requesting the universe for your desires, it's vital to comprehend the metaphysical, the unseen world that wields immense power over our lives. This isn't about delving into the mystical or strange. No, it's about acknowledging and understanding forces beyond our tangible world that can powerfully influence our existence. The metaphysical is often associated with spirituality, and while that's a part of it, it's not the whole story. Really, it's about energy and consciousness. It's about the vibrations you're sending out into the world and the unseen, yet palpable, forces that respond. It's about understanding that your thoughts, emotions, and actions have weight and influence beyond what you can physically see. Now, don't worry if this seems a little challenging to grasp right now. It can be difficult to understand, especially if you have been taught to believe only what you can see or touch. But remember, 
There was a time when the world believed the earth was flat because they hadn't yet seen evidence to the contrary. Just because you can't see these metaphysical elements doesn't mean they aren't there. Embrace this understanding with open curiosity and patience. It won't happen overnight, and that's okay. You're on a journey of discovery, and every step you take is a step towards a deeper understanding of the universe and your place within it. So, take a deep breath, open your heart, and let's explore the metaphysical together. Chapter 2 The Power of Intention Delving into the power of intention, you'll discover it's not just about wishful thinking, but a crucial force that can shape your reality. It's the act of setting a purpose for your actions and thoughts, creating a roadmap towards your goals. Harnessing the power of intention can be transformative, opening doors to new possibilities and prospects. You see, intention isn't just a whim, it's a declaration of your heart's deepest desires. So, when you're asking the universe to manifest your desires, you're not merely making a wish, you're setting an intention. This process is pivotal, as it effectively communicates your desires to the universe. Remember, it's not enough to just want something you must intend to have it. Your intention forms the foundation of your actions and drives you towards your goals. It's the fuel that ignites your determination and willpower, guiding your path to success. The power of intention lies in its ability to focus your mind, channeling your energy towards your desired outcome. It's like a beacon, attracting the elements necessary for your goals to come to fruition. When you set an intention, you're essentially sending out a call to the universe, asking it to arrange circumstances in your favor. Chapter 3 Aligning Your Mindset Having established your intentions, it's crucial to align your mindset, a mental compass guiding you towards your heart's deepest desires. Your mindset isn't simply a collection of thoughts, it's an energetic field that influences your reality. You're not just a physical being, but also a vibrating energy field connected to the universe's infinite supply of possibilities. Consider your mind as a radio and the universe as the broadcasting station. To receive the desired frequency, you've got to tune into it. Just as you wouldn't expect to hear jazz music on a rock station, you can't anticipate receiving abundance if your mindset is tuned into scarcity. Now, you might be wondering, how do I align my mindset well? It's not about forcing or controlling your thoughts. It's about gently guiding them towards positivity, gratitude, and openness. It's about embracing the belief that what you seek is also seeking you. It's about recognizing that the universe is a generous provider and is always conspiring in your favor. You see, when your mindset is in harmony with your intentions, it sends out a clear signal to the universe. It creates an energetic pathway for your desires to flow towards you. It's like clearing a blocked stream, allowing the water to flow freely and naturally. Chapter 4 Emotional Preparation now let's explore the heart of the matter initiating yourself emotionally to ask the universe for what you desire. It's not as challenging as it might seem. You're starting on a journey of self-discovery where you'll learn to tap into your deepest feelings and desires. Start by acknowledging your emotions. They're not just fleeting sensations, they're powerful signals telling you what truly matters. You might feel fear, doubt, or excitement, and that's okay. Embrace these feelings they're part of your journey. Remember, you're not alone. Everyone experiences these emotions when setting an intention. Next, practice positivity. You can't invite abundance into your life with a heart full of negativity. Yes, it's easier said than done, but remember, you're stronger than your negative thoughts. They're merely clouds passing through your sky, not defining you. Focus on cultivating gratitude and joy. Keep your heart open and receptive. Let rid of any preconceived ideas or restricting preconceptions. The universe is infinitely abundant, and there's more than enough for everyone. Believe it. Feel it. Trust it. Finally, remember to be patient with yourself. 
This process takes time. You won't transform your emotional state overnight. It's a journey, not a destination. With every step you take, you're getting closer to your dreams. In this emotional preparation, you're not just asking for what you want, you're aligning your heart's desires with the universe's abundance. It's about opening up, letting go, and inviting in. It's about believing in the unseen, trusting the process, and embracing the journey. It's not about forcing, it's about asking to receive. Chapter 5 Crafting Clear Requests Crafting a clear request to the universe isn't just about articulating what you want, it's about refining your desires into a focused, potent wish that resonates with your true self. This isn't a time for vague or general wishes. Instead, be specific. You're not just asking for more money, you're asking for a promotion, or a new job, or a successful business. You're not just asking for a relationship, you're asking for a loving and fulfilling partnership. You see, the universe responds to clarity. It's like tuning your radio to the correct frequency. When your request is ambiguous, it is like attempting to listen to a radio station that is not fully tuned in you will get a lot of static and little else. But when your request is clear and specific, it's like tuning in perfectly the universe can respond with the exact thing you're asking for. Keep in mind, you're not imposing or demanding, you're simply expressing your heart's desires. You're asking, not insisting. This involves a delicate balance between expressing your desires confidently and accepting whatever the universe delivers. Lastly, remember to phrase your requests positively. Instead of saying, I don't want to be alone, say, I want a fulfilling relationship, this subtle shift in language sends a clear, positive signal to the universe about what you want. Crafting clear requests is a critical step in asking the universe to receive. It's about refining your desires, being specific, and maintaining a positive focus. Chapter 6. The Role of Belief Believing in the power of your requests plays a pivotal role in manifesting your desires. It's not enough to merely ask the universe for what you want, you must also believe that you're worthy of receiving it. This belief acts as a powerful magnet, drawing in the very things you're asking for with a force that's as real as gravity itself. Now, you might be wondering, but how can I believe in something that hasn't happened yet that's a valid question? And here's the answer you've got to trust in the process. Yes, it's easier said than done, but it's an essential part of the process. You're not just asking for a miracle, you're co-creating it with the universe. Chapter 7 Visualization Techniques Harnessing the power of your imagination, visualization techniques become an invaluable tool in your journey to ask and receive from the universe. Imagine your dreams and desires as vividly as possible, with every tiny detail. Feel the emotions you'd experience as if your dreams were manifesting right now. You're not merely daydreaming, but actively creating a mental blueprint for the universe to follow. Think of visualization as your personal movie. You're the director, the scriptwriter, and the leading role. Now, it's time to roll the cameras. Every scene, every emotion, Every emotion, every detail must be clear and precise. Don't worry if it seems a little challenging at first. Like any skill, practice makes perfect. Remember, the universe responds to emotions, not words. So it's not enough to merely visualize your dreams. You need to feel them, live them in your mind. Feel the joy, the excitement, the love, the satisfaction. Let these emotions fill you up and radiate out to the universe. You might wonder, how often should I visualize there's no set rule, but consistency is key. Find a quiet time each day for your visualization practice. Early morning or just before sleep can be ideal times as your mind is most receptive then. Visualization is a powerful technique to communicate your desires to the universe. It's like a cosmic language that the universe understands perfectly. So, dive deep into your imagination, visualize with all your heart, and let the universe do its magic. 
Chapter 8 Importance of Gratitude Often overlooked, expressing gratitude regularly is a fundamental step in your journey to receiving from the universe. It's not just about saying thank you for the things you have. It's about expressing a deep, genuine appreciation for everything in your life, the good, the bad, and everything in between. Gratitude isn't just a nice sentiment. It's a powerful concept. When you're grateful, you're acknowledging the abundance that already exists in your life. You're recognizing that you have been, are, and will continue to be provided for. This recognition creates a powerful shift in your mindset, a shift that aligns you with the universe's frequency of abundance. The universe listens to the language of emotion, and gratitude is one of the highest forms of love. When you express gratitude, you're sending out a clear, strong message to the universe I acknowledge and appreciate the abundance in my life. I'm open to receiving more. Don't underestimate the power of gratitude. It's not a one-time thing, it's a practice, a lifestyle. The more you express it, the stronger your connection with the universe becomes, the more aligned you're with the frequency of abundance. Remember, you're not just saying thank you, you're building a bridge, a connection, a relationship with the universe. And the stronger that relationship, the more open you're to receiving. Build your bridge of gratitude and you'll find the universe more than willing to meet you halfway. Chapter 9. Communicating with Clarity To successfully navigate your way to abundance, your communication with the universe must be clear and exact, just as a lighthouse guides ships through the darkness with its clear, steady light. The universe is a vast expanse, ready to listen and respond to your thoughts, desires, and intentions. But just like any other conversation, it's essential to communicate with clarity, precision, and unwavering belief. Start by articulating your desires clearly. You're not just wishing on a star here, you're initiating a spiritually profound conversation with the universe. When you speak, do so with conviction, as if what you're asking for is already yours. The language you use should be positive and empowering. Instead of saying, I don't want to be poor, say, I am welcoming wealth and prosperity into my life. Notice the difference? The latter statement is clear, positive, and leaves no room for misinterpretation. Remember, the universe is neither a genie granting wishes nor a vending machine dispensing goods. It's a responsive, intelligent energy that corresponds to your thoughts and feelings. So, be clear about what you want and why you want it. Your why fuels your desires with a purpose, making your request more potent. Lastly, trust in the process. The universe receives your communication, understands it, and responds to it. Have faith that what you're asking for is on its way to you. Your clarity in communication with the universe is a beacon, guiding the energies to align with your desires. You're not forcing your asking, and with clarity, you'll receive. Chapter 10. Letting Go of Outcomes While your clarity in communicating your desires is key, it's equally important to relinquish control over the outcomes. This might sound counterintuitive. After all, you're asking the universe for something specific, right? But here's the thing this process isn't about demanding an exact result. It's about trusting in the universal flow and accepting whatever comes your way. When you let go of the need to control outcomes, you open yourself up to unexpected blessings. The cosmos works in odd ways, and the gifts it bestows may not be exactly what you expected. But rest assured, they're what you need at that point in your life. Remember, you're not forcing, you're asking. You're placing your trust in the cosmos, believing that it will deliver what's best for you. So once you've communicated your desires, let them go. Don't clutch them tightly instead. Release them into the universe like a bird taking flight. It's like planting a seed and knowing it will grow without obsessing about how tall it's going to be or how many flowers it will produce. You simply trust in nature's wisdom. Similarly, you need to trust the universe's wisdom. Let go of outcomes and trust that the universe will take care of the how. Chapter 11 
timing your requests. In the dance of manifesting your desires, timing plays a crucial role, acting like the rhythm that guides your steps. Recognize that the universe operates on its own schedule, not ours. Just as a seed requires time to develop, blossom, and bear fruit, your aspirations require time to come into reality. You may be wondering, when is the perfect time to make my request well? There's no one-size-fits-all answer, but there are indicators that can guide you. When you feel a strong, positive emotion, that's a good time to ask. This could be a moment of gratitude, love, or joy. The universe responds to your energy and these uplifting emotions send out strong, clear signals. Also, consider aligning your requests with the natural cycles of the universe. Just as farmers plant in spring, nurture in summer, harvest in fall, and rest in winter, you too can align your requests with these cycles. Ask for what you want during the spring of your life when you're feeling hopeful, excited, and ready for new beginnings. Nurture your desire during your summer, believe in its fruition in the fall, and patiently wait for its manifestation in the winter. Chapter 12 The Energy of Words Harnessing the power of your words can greatly amplify the energy of your desires, turning them into potent requests to the universe. Words aren't just sounds or letters, they're vessels that carry your intentions, your emotions, and your desires. Each word you utter or think, consciously or unconsciously, has an energy vibration that the universe responds to. Think of your words as seeds. When you plant a seed, it doesn't immediately blossom into a tree. It requires time, care, and the right conditions to grow. Similarly, the words you choose to express your desires need to be nurtured with positive energy, faith, and patience. Remember, negative words produce negative vibrations and vice versa. You can't ask the universe for happiness while harboring resentment or anger. So choose your words wisely. Don't just say what you want, feel it. If you desire peace, use words that evoke that feeling within you. It's also essential to speak in the present tense because the universe responds to your current vibration, not your future plans or past regrets. For instance, instead of saying, I will be happy, affirm, I am happy. This approach sends a clear, confident message to the universe that you're ready to receive what you desire. In essence, the energy of your words sets the tone for what you attract. So use them as a powerful tool in your quest to ask and receive from the universe. Remember, you're not forcing, you're asking to receive. Chapter 13 Creating a Ritual Crafting your own unique ritual can be a powerful way to connect with the universe and amplify your request for what you desire. This isn't about fancy ceremonies or arcane incantations, but about meaningful actions that resonate with your personal spirit, helping you to focus your intent and open up to the universe's abundant energy. Consider what makes you feel most connected to the world around you. It could be something as simple as lighting a candle, or as profound as a walk in nature. There's no right way to do this, it's about what feels right to you. You're not performing for anyone else, you're creating a sacred space for your own spiritual connection. Remember, it's important to approach this with an open heart and mind. Don't rush or force anything. Let your ritual evolve naturally, reflecting your deepening understanding and connection with the universe. Be patient. You're not trying to control the universe. You're learning to dance with it. Your ritual is a tool, not a magic wand. It doesn't guarantee instant results, but it can help align your energy with the universes, making it easier for you to receive what you're asking for. It's a way of saying, I'm ready. I'm open. I'm listening. Embrace this journey of discovery. Be gentle with yourself. You're learning a new language, the language of the universe. It may take time, but remember, the universe always answers. You just need to know how to listen. Chapter 14. Using Meditation Effectively As you journey further into the universe's language, meditation becomes your guide, a powerful tool 
that allows you to tune into the universe's frequency with clarity and intention. It's not just about sitting still in a quiet room, it's an art form, a way to connect on a deeper level, a pathway to the universe's heart. Begin by choosing a comfortable, peaceful area where you will not be interrupted. Close your eyes and take a deep, calm breath. As you breathe in, imagine a white, pure light entering your body, filling you with love, peace, and positive energies. As you breathe out, visualize all your doubts, fears, and negativity leaving your body. Now, focus on your intention what you want to ask from the universe. Visualize it clearly in your mind. Feel the emotions as if your wish is already fulfilled. But remember, you're not forcing, you're merely asking. Allow your mind to become a vessel for your desires, to hold them gently and with love. Maintaining this state may not come easily at first, but don't be disheartened. With practice, it will get easier. The universe understands your efforts and appreciates your sincerity. Mastering the skill of meditation, like learning a new language, requires time and effort. But the benefits are significant. Chapter 15 The Role of Patience In this dance with the universe, patience isn't just a virtue, it's your steadfast partner, guiding you through the rhythm of waiting and receiving. You're not forcing the universe to grant your wishes instead, you're gently expressing your desires and waiting for them to manifest in perfect timing. This process requires an unwavering trust in the universe's ability to fulfill your desires in its own time. Patience is your anchor in the sea of uncertainty. It's the quiet voice that whispers it's not yet time when you're on the verge of giving up. It's the gentle nudge that encourages you to keep going, to keep believing, to keep asking. Patience is a serene acceptance of the now while keeping your hopes high for the future. However, patience isn't about sitting idly by, waiting for the universe to drop your desires into your lap. It's about actively preparing yourself to receive. It's about nurturing your dreams, cultivating a positive mindset, and making space in your life for your desires to manifest. Take into account that the cosmos follows its own timeline, not yours. It knows when the conditions are just right for you to receive. While it might be tempting to rush the process, try to resist. Embrace patience. You'll find that it's in the waiting, in the stillness, and in the quiet anticipation that the most profound transformations occur. Don't rush the dance. Let patience lead. Trust the rhythm, the timing, and most importantly, trust the universe. When the time is right, everything you've asked for will come to you. Chapter 16 Acknowledging the Response Often, the universe responds in whispers rather than shouts, so it's essential that you're attuned to recognize and acknowledge these subtle signals. It's like the faint rustling of leaves in the wind or the gentle hum of a distant melody. They're there, but you've got to listen closely and with an open heart. You've asked, and now it's time to receive. But remember, the universe doesn't always reply in the ways you expect. It's not about seeing a shooting star or getting a windfall. It's about experiencing little shifts, unexpected opportunities, or even a sudden, inexplicable feeling of peace. It's about recognizing that these are responses to your request. Be vigilant, but don't force it. You're not trying to squeeze answers from the universe, but rather you're becoming more aware of its language, its rhythm, its flow. You're learning to trust it and yourself more. When you notice these responses, acknowledge them. Give thanks. This act of gratitude doesn't just show your appreciation, but it also amplifies your connection with the universe. It's like saying, I see you. I hear you. I trust you. This journey is about growing your understanding, about realizing that you're part of something much larger yet deeply personal. Remember, you're not alone in this. The universe is with you, always responding, always whispering. Are you ready to listen, to acknowledge, to receive? Chapter 17 Dealing with Disappointment While embracing the universe's whispers can be a profound journey, 
You might sometimes face moments of disappointment when things don't seem to align with your requests. It's important to remember, during these times, that it's not a sign of failure or a reason to abandon your spiritual journey. Disappointment is a natural part of life, even when you're asking the universe for guidance. It's a demonstration of your courage, your willingness to be open and vulnerable. What matters isn't the disappointment itself, but how you handle it. It's an opportunity to grow, to deepen your connection with the universe, and to refine your understanding of what you truly desire. Embrace these moments. Acknowledge your feelings, but don't let them cloud your vision or discourage you. Instead, allow them to guide you to a better understanding of yourself and your aspirations. In doing so, you're not only acknowledging your humanity, but also welcoming the chance to learn and grow. Remember, the universe isn't against you, it's working for you. It's teaching you patience, resilience, and the art of letting go. It's showing you that sometimes, what you think you want isn't what you truly need. So don't see disappointment as a setback, but rather an invitation to a deeper, more meaningful dialogue with the universe. In your journey of asking to receive, remember to be patient, be open, and above all, be kind to yourself. Disappointment isn't a defeat, it's a stepping stone. It's proof that you're trying, you're evolving, and you're on the right path. Chapter 18. Realigning Misaligned Requests Sometimes, despite your best efforts and intentions, your requests to the universe may seem misaligned or unanswered. And that's okay. It's not a reflection of your worthiness or any lack on your part. It's a signal for you to pause, reassess, and realign your requests. Realigning your requests doesn't mean you failed. It indicates your resilience and ability to adapt. Here's how you can do it. Start by revisiting your request. Was it clear and specific? Did it align with your core values and true desires? If not, don't be hard on yourself. It's part of the process. Next, let go of any resentment or frustration you may be harboring. These emotions create a barrier between you and the universe, making it difficult for you to receive. Replace them with gratitude and positivity. Remember, the universe is always ready to supply, but it responds best to positive energy. Then, refocus your intentions. Visualize your request as already fulfilled. Feel the joy, the satisfaction, the peace. This feeling sends a strong, clear signal to the universe. Lastly, trust the process. The universe works in its own time, not ours. Your job is to ask, believe, and then let go. Realign your expectations, not to lower them, but to accept that everything happens at the right time. Realigning misaligned requests is about refining your communication with the universe. It's about moving forward with grace, patience, and an unwavering faith that what you desire is on its way to you. You're not forcing, you're asking to receive from the metaphysical. Chapter 19. Celebrating Small Wins As you journey towards manifesting your desires, embracing and celebrating your small wins along the way plays an essential role in keeping your motivation alive. Don't overlook the small victories as insignificant they're stepping stones to your success and deserve to be acknowledged. Each small win is validation that you're on the right path, that the universe is indeed listening and responding. You've asked, and it's beginning to deliver. It could be something as simple as finding a parking spot in a crowded area after visualizing it, or a friend calling when you were just thinking about them. These are all signs that you're aligning with the universe's abundance. Get into the habit of acknowledging these small wins. Take a moment, smile, express gratitude, and let the feeling of achievement wash over you. This not only raises your morale, but it also reinforces your belief in your potential to manifest greater things. Remember, the universe doesn't differentiate between big and small when it comes to manifestation. It's us who label them accordingly. So celebrate every win, no matter how small, because it's proof that you're successfully communicating with the universe and that it's responding to you. It's not about the size of the win, 
It's about the confirmation that you're in alignment and on the right path. By celebrating small wins, you're acknowledging the universe's role in your achievements and encouraging more positive responses. Stay patient, keep believing, and remember to celebrate each step forward. You're on your way to manifesting your desires. Chapter 20 The Power of Positivity Building on your small victories, infusing your journey with a strong sense of positivity can greatly amplify your ability to align with the universe and manifest your desires. Positivity isn't just a feel-good attitude. It is a powerful energy that can let you access into the universe's endless riches. You might wonder, how can I be positive when life is tough? Remember, positivity isn't about ignoring life's challenges. It's about embracing them with an optimistic outlook, believing that you can overcome them. This shift in perspective can open up new pathways for you. Positivity is like a magnet. It attracts good things. When you emit positive energy, you're sending a signal to the universe that you're ready to receive its blessings. You're basically saying, I'm open, I'm ready, and I'm willing to receive this can make a massive difference in what you attract into your life. It's also equally important to maintain a positive state of mind even when things are going well. Why? Because it's easy to fall into the trap of negativity when things aren't going your way. But remember, you have the power to control your thoughts and emotions. You can choose to stay happy and maintain that connection with the cosmos. Chapter 21 Revising Your Approach If you've been trying to manifest your desires but haven't seen the results you want, it's time to revise your approach. Remember, you're not failing, you're simply learning. It's crucial to understand that the universe is always communicating with you, and sometimes it's telling you to take a different path. Start by examining your intentions. Are they clear and defined? The universe responds to clarity. Make sure that what you're asking for is what you truly desire, not what you think you should want or what others expect of you. Be honest with yourself. Authenticity is key in connecting with the metaphysical. Next, look at your feelings. Are they aligned with your desires? You can't attract positivity if you're emitting negative vibes. It's not enough to just want something, you must also feel it. So begin to cultivate feelings that align with your desires. This could mean practicing gratitude, meditating, or using affirmations. Your emotions are powerful tools in the manifestation process. Lastly, consider your actions. Are they supporting your intentions and feelings? Actions speak louder than words and the universe responds to actions that are in harmony with what you're trying to manifest. If your actions don't support your desires, it's time to make a change. In revising your approach, remember, it's not about forcing the universe to give you what you want. It's about aligning your intentions, feelings, and actions with your desires, allowing the universe to respond in kind. Keep faith, stay patient, and trust the process. Chapter 22. Maintaining an Open Heart While working on aligning your intentions, feelings, and actions, remember that a crucial part of this journey is to maintain an open heart. This isn't just about embracing love and kindness for others. It's about fostering an inner environment where you're receptive to the universe's guidance and abundance. An open heart is like a sponge ready to absorb all the goodness the universe has in store for you. You might be wondering, how do I keep my heart open? It's simpler than you think. Start by practicing gratitude. When you're grateful for what you have, you're telling the universe, I see and appreciate your gifts. This sends a signal that you're open to receiving more. Next, embrace forgiveness. Grudges and resentments can harden your heart making it difficult for the universe's blessings to flow into your life. Let go of these negative feelings, not for the sake of the person who wronged you, but for your own well-being. Remember, you're not condoning their actions, you're freeing yourself from the burden of bitterness. Finally, cultivate a sense of wonder. Marvel at the universe's beauty and vastness, 
And don't be afraid to dream big. After all, the universe is infinite, and so are its possibilities for you. Keeping an open heart may require practice and patience, but it's essential for your spiritual journey. So keep your heart open and let the universe surprise you with its generosity. Chapter 23 Learning from the Process Ever wondered what the key to truly understanding the art of asking the universe is? It's not just about the asking, but the learning that comes with the process. You see, the universe is a teacher, generous with lessons if you're open to receiving them. Each time you ask the universe for something, you're engaging in a dialogue that teaches you about your desires, your fears, your hopes, and your limitations. You're not just mindlessly throwing requests into a cosmic void you're reflecting, exploring, and growing. And this, my friend, is where the beauty lies. In the process of asking, you learn about patience. You learn about the wisdom of the universe's timing, which may not always align with your own. You learn about the power of faith and the importance of maintaining positivity, even when the universe seems unresponsive. You also learn about yourself. You learn to recognize what truly matters to you, what you genuinely want, as opposed to what you think you should want. You learn to more fully comprehend your feelings and emotions, regulate your expectations, and be at peace with the world and yourself. Chapter 24. Continuous Practice just as learning from the process is essential, so too is the practice of consistently asking the universe for guidance. In this journey of seeking, it's not about asking once and then waiting idly for an answer. It's about continuously reaching out, seeking connection, and demonstrating your openness to receive. Imagine the universe as a wise mentor. You wouldn't just ask them for advice once and then never speak to them again, would you? Certainly not. You'd engage with them regularly, seeking their wisdom, guidance, and support. That's the kind of relationship you're building with the universe. The beautiful part about this practice is that you're not alone. The universe is there with you every step of the way, ready to send you signs, synchronicities, and messages. You just have to be open and willing to receive them. Your continuous practice of asking and receiving will strengthen your connection, and you'll start to see the universe responding in ways you'd never imagined. Chapter 25. Sharing Your Journey As you commence on this journey of asking the universe to receive, it's crucial to share your experiences. Recognizing your desires, overcoming emotional hurdles, and celebrating even the smallest victories can inspire others. In your unique journey, Identifying your personal desires is a pivotal first step towards asking the universe to receive. It's not about material wants, but the deep yearnings of your heart. What makes you feel alive? What stirs your soul? These aren't trivial questions. They're the compass leading you towards your true self. Give yourself permission to dream, to aspire. Don't be afraid to want more from life, more joy, more love, more fulfillment. Despite the fear and discomfort, facing and overcoming your emotional blocks is an essential part of your journey towards asking the universe to receive. You're not alone in this struggle. We all have emotional roadblocks that can cloud our desires and stifle our spiritual connection. It's normal to feel overwhelmed. But you're stronger than you think, and you're capable of confronting these emotions head-on. Start by acknowledging your feelings, rather than ignoring or suppressing them. Be honest with yourself and patient through the process. Every step forward on your journey, no matter how small, is a victory worth celebrating. You're not just making progress, you're evolving, growing, and becoming the best version of yourself. Don't dismiss these moments, cherish them, for they're evidence of your resilience and determination. Sharing your journey isn't a boast, it's an invitation for others to join in your celebration, to find inspiration in your triumphs. You're showing the universe that you appreciate its gifts, however small they may seem. Remember, gratitude attracts more to be grateful for. As you commence on this journey, remember even the great alchemists knew the secret lay in asking, not demanding. 
your path to harnessing the universe's bounty isn't about control, but surrender. You're not alone, you're in a cosmic dance, co-creating with the metaphysical. Keep your heart open, your intentions clear, and trust in the divine timing. The universe is listening, ready to respond. You be patient, keep practicing, and share your journey. The world awaits your magic. Thanks for listening to or reading this from Audiobooks Office.